Welcome, welcome, ladies and gentlemen. This is Ghostsmith Gaming with me, Christopher, and we're back with Crusader Kings 3 and our playthrough with Sweden, aiming for the EU4 achievement of Sweden is not overpowered, where we have to take all the provinces surrounding the Baltic Sea. And as you can see, we're actually doing pretty damn well. Doing pretty damn well. We are uh, clearing out the land over here. We are looking good at taking something from Denmark, I believe. Sure, he has a few allies right now. And also a lot of troops for himself, so it's not, it's not an easy target right now. But we're getting there. And uh, yeah, obviously Norway has been a little bit annoying here. But that's fine. And we're in a war still. We're in a war still against Karelia. So we are in the Dutch war for this nation. As you can see, Lapland is also in a war with Karelia. Luckily for this little piece of land over here. So hopefully, if everything goes to plan, we're going to snag one bit each of Karelia. Now, Lapland is a big issue. They're slightly less of an issue from what they've been before. They lost troops. I don't know exactly why. Might be because they switched over to Catholic. Which in turn is a problem because that means that I can't do holy wars against them. So that's annoying. Also, I don't care what you are at 62 while well, I'm only at 29. That's annoying. Well, okay, fine. We don't have the war going, so that's a, that's a thing. So we're just sieging back some of our territory. Uh, that was not that war, obviously. Luckily, my uh, uh, allies are actually sieging back that, which is the war goal, so that's really good. And my goal here is to take this back, like so, moving up to 33, and then marching on their army down here. So obviously, we are most likely going to be able to just push them away, or they're going to leave. I don't think they're going to stay. And you... Were you fighting a little bit down there? Almost looks like you did. If we're lucky, we're gonna catch them. I think that we're gonna catch them. We? Actually, it feels like we are. Yes, we are. We are the defender, and we have bonuses, etc., etc. Oh! We have a new archbishop, because you died. Are you good? You are horrible. That's not good. That's actually really, really bad. You're only 36. Eh, uh, murder? Eh, uh, yes. That's not gonna go over well with the church. We're found to have murder our archbishop. <laughs> uh, so agent joined the scheme. Can I buff that a little? We have some. My queen. You actually have a pretty decent success chance. How much do you want? You can bribe for 75. That's, that's literally nothing. Do that. Get you in. Means that we are gonna be up to 80 something, right? Here we go, 93, 95, beautiful. Don't need more than that. So, uh, so, 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 what else can we do? Because you... Did you seriously just stop that? Did you really? Oh, come on. Uh, so what's, where's the other army? You're down here. Thing is, I'm not getting... Where's you? I mean, I already have his capital. Uh, just go down and take care of that little army then. Oh, I was about to check this as well. What else can I raise here? 73 people. You know what? This bad you, I don't believe. I don't really need 73 more people at this point. Yeah, we are attacking, getting some minuses, but that's fine. I think... Ooh, we capture someone. None of importance. And you're actually fighting a little bit down here, so that's... That, that works for me. I guess if we go for... Yeah, we are in war with these people as well. Now, is there a... There, I don't think that there is a... Uh, siege going on here, so why don't we go for that? Okay, the way of the hammer, the endless clash of metal metal, the chafing of armor, the sting of the sweat. It is a dance that is familiar as, as it is exhausting. To raise my hammer, attack, dodge, defend, and repeat. It would do me good to practice my skills with another weapon. Hmm. Okay, so me and my trusted hammer will not part. Very Viking to have a hammer, by the way. Uh, respected expert makes a prowess, doesn't really matter for me. 
or I can get some prestige or 70% chance of getting prestige and martial lifestyle. Or I get wounded and less martial, but obviously we're going to go for that one. I got the 100 martial lifestyle. Perfect. Uh, and, and the prestige as well, you know. So what are my allies doing at this point? Did you fight them? Yes, you did. Ooh, oh, okay. So the Pope, the really not good Pope, by the way, he is... Uh, he's been flogging a lot of young boys, by the way. Doesn't really seem as if that's something that has been uh, affected him much. He's also 78 years old, wow, okay. He, uh, he wants to go for a war against uh, Dane Law. I mean, I wouldn't mind taking a few bits and pieces. You know? Well, we'll, we'll see what happens with that. I'm apparently going to attack this mini, mini, mini army down here. And, ooh. Oh, whoa. Oh, you just started that. Oh, you just started that immediately. Okay. Are you... That's not gonna go well for day long. Let's see what happens with that. I mean, I don't even have a beneficiary. Yes, I do. Oh, it's my friend. My friend is the beneficiary. Well, we kind of have to do that. You know. But I also have to finish this war. So where are my... Where are my allies? They got a beating from them, sadly. They're still retreating way up into the mountains to the north. Well, that's perfect. And... Oh, you are doing another war. Okay. Uh, so... Uh, yes, this was a good... That's just Martha, Martha's daughter of Corland. She has uh, been courted by Halston. Halston has done a good job. Not, not me, Halston. The other Halston. There's so many Halstons floating about, by the way. There's so much Halston. You have Count Halston here, me, I'm a Halston, and I think that I have someone else as well, <laughs> like, floating around. But yeah, you are actually seemingly in more wars. Yes, you are. Beautiful. Because you are uh, sieging down in Novgorod now. I don't care about that. Uh, ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, Opland, Peasant Rabble, uh, King Volodar, who is that? That's Ruthenia, and that is Dane Law, right? Yes. Which war was that? I guess it wasn't this one. <laughs> well, I mean, I really need to finish this war off so that I can join in the crusade, because I would very much like for my friend to be uh, taking over Dane Law. I don't know exactly how that is going to help me, but uh, it could have hurt, right? <laughs> I mean, I think. So I'm going to take this and see how much that helps me with the war score, because I don't know why it's so low. It's really, really low. Well, okay, okay, fine. I don't have the objective. I should know why it's that low. But if I take this, I should be okay. But we have to march here now and deal with all of this. Uh, we captured someone. Someone unimportant, so... Can I just see if I can ransom a few people? Some money there. Uh, some money there. That's fine. I mean, I don't care if I can't get more. That's fine. You can't pay your full bribe, though. Can't for that one. Don't even know if that was the same person. Uh, oh, oh. Kind of like the list a little bit more, though, <laughs> by the way. Uh, yeah, we're not going to do anything with you for now. Oh, by the way, where am I on Dread? Only 62. You know what that means? That means that we can probably kill a few people. Uh, hostile or evil, so that's fair. Get that. Same goes with you. A little bit more Dread, which for me means a little bit more prestige, because I have a... I think it was a perk, right? Oh, that, that, that went fast. Okay, plush and exotic carpet. Plush, vibrant, and soft as the first light of dawn. Russia presents me with an exquisite carpet in the hopes of a good future relations. As a marvel to find weave, I am struck by thought. In a carpet like this, muffled, the treading of feet, even conceal the steps of a bumbling agent. Ooh. It also be honored by such a gift. If he accepts, uh, we get some progress, and he has a plush and exotic carpet, which is nice. 
or I can take it for the same thing. Uh, no, let's let's hand it over. Yep, he absolutely accepts it because he is probably a very uh, what's the word? Well, I mean, he he, he is from the church, so obviously he likes you know money, etc. And lush things. There we go. Uninvited. Yep, 93% of him being killed. Let's go for it. Are you coming down, by the way? Uh, Lars is dead by the lethal bite of a deadly spider. The spider struck not long after he retired into his chambers, and all the guards were called, and no one could do a thing to save him. Fortunately, he died cursing my name, and rumors of my involvement have already spread for a while far away. Ooh. Less good. Less good, sadly. Okay. No, never mind. So who's my n new guy? Hey, he's he's better. I like him, but he d doesn't uh, support me. So let's sway him. Yep. And are you coming down to fight me? Commander promoted. My marshal, Duke Grimm, has been showing off a promising new recruit. He may not be uh, of as noble stock as you, my liege, but on on my name, I swear that Zimon is someone you sh should want on your side. Okay. So what are you? A tough soldier. Oh, okay, prowess, not bad. Reckless, also not that bad. Uh, sure, I'm okay with that. You can come. The question is, are you going to try, try and attack me? Yes, you are. Uh, so you are going to come and help. I will more more so than higher quality, but upon the supplies running low. How are my supplies running low? Defending a tiger, defending defensive buildings, etc. etc. Better army commander. I have a really good army commander, by the way, but apparently you have it even better. <laughs> uh, can we escape? Uh, I don't know. Why are my supplies running low? Under supplied. How do I get that up? How do I get that up? I don't know. Uh, let's uh, try and escape. Because <laughs> I don't want to be in that fight. We're not going to be able to escape. Sadly. Oh, I actually am. Am, am I? Yeah, I am. Okay. Just stand here. I'm sacrificing my allies at this point. Oh, this is an annoying war. I mean, why are you not finishing? You are at 100%. Come on. There we go. Thank you. Let, let me just get back here now. Yep, yeah, so they did indeed take a bit of land there. That's fine. So let's uh, let's get in here now and actually, you know, finish all of this off so that I can move over to Danelaw and help out here. I'm not going to be able to, I think. <laughs> Ooh, what's this then? Duchy of East Anglia. Hm, okay. I'm also interested in whether or not... I mean, I'm allied to this guy. Which is a little bit of annoyance because I want this land. But are you... I mean, your leash is indeed the king of Norway. But you are... Are you sort of a... I don't get it if you... Or, or does this just show because I'm allied to him? Had I not been allied, that would just have said Norway. Is that, is that a thing? I don't know. But yeah, that war took way longer for you than it should have, I think. And yeah, with the with the uh, with the siege done here, we should absolutely be fine. It cannot be more that's needed for this. Okay, we have done the hide tents in Orland. Beautiful. It means more levies, more and more and more levies. Beautiful, five thousand two hundred. That's uh, that's okay. I mean, I have a few other things that I would like to uh, spend some money on. Specifically here. Well, actually, no, not, not here, because we're actually done here. Uh, by the way, I just realized that we can look at each of these. I have more stuff that I haven't bothered with. And, oh, come on, even, what the hell? How much do I need to do? I do have the war score. I very much have the war score. 
Or don't I? Well, okay, fine, let's go here as well then. <laughs> Whatever. Or is this the capital of this place? Maybe that's the case. Oh, well, you're you're seemingly... Uh, <laughs> you have other issues. And uh, so, so I don't really have to bother with that. But yeah, ooh, I, yeah as I said, you, while, while you do that... I'm finished to Estonian. Okay, well, you can do that. Oh, my sister Freya died. <laughs> For a poor physique. That's... That was beautiful. Well, she was 64 years old. So yeah, I have a sister at 64, I'm 28. I'm already 28, man, time goes fast. Someone died in my presence, don't care. But yeah, I do have other areas here. These are all filled up, but I could create holdings here. I don't exactly know what I can create, because I don't think that I can... Can I create cities? Maybe I can. I mean, it would be fun, and we only lack uh, a little bit of money, and as soon as the wars are over, we are going to be uh, doing okay money-wise. Okay, so you're coming in here for some reason to fight me. Like, why? Don't necessarily got why you would do such a thing. But we beat you. And my alliance with him has expired because of my death, uh, the death of my sister. That's interesting. So what does it look like now? No, it still says, uh, it says only that, not Norway. Hmm. A little bit unsure as to what the uh, situation is there. <sighs> what is this? So when do we have the war score? How is this possible? What is the war score? Or sorry, what is the war goal then? I mean, I literally have everything. I'm uh, literally sieging everything here. What does the game want me to do here? Occupying enemy capital, occupying counties. I mean, I, I don't get it. I have the war score. War score from held objectives. No objectives. I'll hold a war for the Duchy of Poyama. The Duchy of Poyama is this. I mean, I already have this. So obviously I can't really siege more than that. Ah, <sighs> Jesus. Okay. Well. I guess I don't really have a choice. I'll just have to keep sieging down stuff. But, uh... Okay, you are saying that I am being siege down here. You can try that because you don't have enough troops. This is uh, less good because I'm just losing. <gasps> yeah. Okay, so yeah, my plan is indeed to have also true as the uh, next faith here in Sweden. This is going, uh, it's going okay. It's going okay. So, uh, split you off. Take you and move you up here. And it is as I ooh, expected. Yeah, that, that sort of uh, was my fears, as a matter of fact. Uh, pause the game a little bit here. Uh, 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 rank. Ooh, my son is not getting that many uh, votes right now. You won't vote because of the filthy heathen. Now, sadly, I don't have... You are... So you... Yeah, because you are indeed as a truist, so to speak. <laughs> and you are my cousin, you apparently... Yeah, you are voting for him. So it's not doing so bad, but I can... Maybe I can procure hooks on people. Like, if I go to you... Uh, if I go to you, modify your few contracts, if I say that, you know, you can pay a little bit less... 
Can I get a hook? <laughs> I can use a hook, but I don't have one. Well, that's gonna be a uh, that's gonna be a matter for future future me. Let's see how I can do this. Well, I mean, we are moving up to some interesting things. Yeah, we got this one as well. Uh, lowered cost for CBs. I just simply want that one. It's just so good. So let's let's start with that. But yeah, what we are doing is we are moving up towards uh, hereditary rule first of all. Culture head is uh, uh, that, that was the wrong one. So yeah, I can enact partition partition law. Uh, your territory divided equally between your children. Upon succession, all ties held by the late ruler will be divided amongst their eligible children, with the player heir always being given the primary title, etc., etc. That is probably going to be uh, important. Now you died as well. So what happened with that land? Uh, that is now yours. You're tiny and insignificant. I would like to attack you if I don't get uh, Norway on my throat. And man, this war went on for far too long. I, I blame Lapland mainly. Uh, Shameful truth has been reached, has reached the light of day. My nephew Egil has had an extramarital affair with my sister Queen Sophia. Ooh, bad. And my sister as well. Mm, not good. Uh, you are in Syria, by the way. <laughs> Okay, this scandal. My sister Queen Sophia has been showing the signs of pregnancy as well. Ooh. Oh, everyone knows indeed. Bad sister, bad sister. And we have indeed swayed the uh, the Archbishop. And oh, he looks way nicer now. <laughs> so, by the way, I think I have an issue with the election. I don't think that I necessarily can do much here but we can uh, start looking a little bit at our vassals by the way for example you we need to sway you we're slightly better at swaying it as it seems so that's good right because yeah he he doesn't like me that much and he but he is terrified terrified of me is a good thing Finally, here we go. I can enforce my demands. Beautiful. Uh, we get some devotion, we get some uh, nice uh, prestige, etc. etc. So let's do that. And you know what I'm going to do? I am going to move you into here and I am going to disband you because this war I'm not going to be able to deal much damage in that war, so I'm not going to bother. Now, do we have a knight that aren't also my vassal? Yes, I have. A Vincent tree over here. Uh, grant title of this place. And do that. Now, is this by any chance part of... Yes, that is part of that. So, you are also going to be getting this. Go. Grant that as well. Nice. Good job. I realized that I probably did that wrong, by the way. Uh, 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 because that is part of this. I actually have someone down here already. Oops. Well, that's fine. We can split that up a little bit. And of course, he <laughs> made an independence faction immediately. That's okay. Yeah, we didn't uh, do anything here. So what happened? Uh, you gained nothing. Oh. Queen Martha. Uh, who, who are you? Well, you don't look so hot on the lover's box. Uh, who, who are you, by the way? Hmm. Well, whatever. Wrath of the Cross. Yeah, St. George has granted Queen Martha victory in the crusade for the day in law after defeating Edgar and his heathen warriors, etc. etc. So, what does that mean? really for the world. That is uh, indeed the uh, uh, the Norwegians. I don't care about that claim. That means, ooh, we can use the spam people. There we go. Thank you. Uh, let's make some money. We can make some money, but we also need desperately get our uh, troops back. But yeah, I would like to create something here. Con 
uh, create a whole thing. Reykjavik, Sundby, I don't really recognize those names at all, to be honest. Because, <laughs> uh, oh, oh, scandalous priest, I mean, again. We, we're gonna keep uh, condemning him for extra piety, etc, etc. Also, we are lacking a holding up here. And this is really built up, by the way. Ooh, I remember what I wanted to do. I wanted to go up to keep. Yes. Uh, that is that is what we're saving up for. So, uh, 500, was it? 550, even. Ooh, level of fame. We are now noteworthy. What was that, that one? No, that was that one. Exalted among men. Uh, did that change? I don't know that that changed, but okay. And there's a ransom. Ooh, to make a bikini. Uh, ooh, yeah, absolutely. Have some, ha have some money for me. Uh, you, only eleven. So they can come to me if they want to r have him released, and you are gonna have to pay a little bit more. Yes, our uh, lands are looking good. But if I wanted to do a new holding, we have a castle, we have a city, and we have a temple. And those are the things that we can do. So, uh, as you're the ruler, you may not personally hold city holdings. You'll have to grant a holding to someone after construction. That's fine. I'm okay with that. And same goes for that. Question is, why would you like... So what's the best for this? Okay. There are a few things and you're more than Alfred's company. Oh, she encouraged me to throw plates and scream at the pillows, and after the emotional storm died down, I actually did feel better. After a short break, I felt more at ease than I had in a long time. I'm lucky to have a friend like Alfred. Aw. <laughs> a little bit of a temper tantrum, basically, just to uh, <laughs> feel better. So, what what's the best thing? So, a temple actually gives you a fair bit of levies as it, as, we, as it would appear. A city fewer. I mean, a castle wouldn't be too bad, would it? Don't exactly... Is there... What's there? Oh, we can do a... Which one is the... We have like hold, holding buildings or whatever it's called. Hmm. Don't exactly know, but it, it doesn't matter because we're not going to do that right now. We are going to build the second level uh, keep here. Because that is going to open up for us to build more cool stuff down the line. There are some uh, battles going on here. What's this war then? Uh, East East Gaelish War for Count Borkra's claim on the county of... What the hell? Where is that? <laughs> where, where is that? Don't even know where that is. It's up there. Oh. That was way further away. Okay, so you are in a war. Isn't that interesting? Uh, so who is that? That's my vassal of this place. So it's uh, you. And my brother. Basically against Scotland and Norway. Well, okay. You do that. You actually have more troops, so it's not even a bad idea. Uh, can I do something then? Can I even do anything here? No, I can't because I haven't made any claims over here. Question is... Yeah, this is just too... Ugh, it's annoying. You are going to have to create a claim down here. A question, I mean, you can only claim a county. Uh, yeah, possible side effects is, uh, is that you can get a claim on a duchy. Right. Uh, so that's another war. Uh, your country discovered communal government. Which one is that then? Ooh, we got that one. Uh, which was that? Countess now reached the maximum existing development penalty at 35 development. Well, that's good that we got that. Uh, so how long will we do? Still 11 years. Uh, what is it? I mean, can we do anything to speed this up? Still, it's development. We are lacking a little bit in 
regardless of that, so that's something that I can't really do much about. But my uh, my lands are looking good. We're doing a really nice sum of uh, income, 15 uh, gold every turn right now. We are sitting at a total soldier number of 7,400, which is actually quite amazing to me. Okay, uh, it's become clear that your archbishop is working to establish a false and spurious claim on the earldom of Ozil. Yeah, he is. Uh, no, Grim died. Oh no. Oh, poor Grim. Uh, do not think that this kind of dishonorable action would go without response. I don't care. Grim. Grim, Grim, Grim. My really, really good knight. <sighs> that is so sad. So, do I have anyone interesting that can actually... Well, I, I do. I have a lot of people who can help out. Uh, do we have anyone that wants to? Yes, you do. And you are perfect for that job. Nice. Good job, you are training commanders. Let's not do this, let's organize the levies for a while. You're still doing domestic affairs, I like doing that. Uh, would I like to change this for now? No, don't care about that. You are promoting culture, you're fabricating claim. You're still on the intrigue. Yeah, I think that we have a nice setup here. We have the money, so let's start the construction of a keep. Beautiful. And a concentric castle. Nice. So yeah, in order, or rather, the reason why we have that, obviously, is because we want to go up to a trade port, but we need the uh, we need the keep in order to do that. So that is sort of why we're going for that, in order to get more development growth, etc., etc. So I'm thinking I want to have a little bit of a shield time, but I also would like to uh, up our. Uh, men at arms. Oh, we got another knight as well. Beautiful. Here we go. We got the. Uh, ooh, oh, oh, okay. So, what's this then? So, uh, someone wants our alliance. Who are you, Poland? Vassal in the kingdom of Poland. You have 500 troops. I don't care about you. Do we have any others? Uh, such. Such people. Yeah, I know I can do that. Can imprison criminals. A lot of people. Uh, but none that seem interesting. Nope, don't care about that. Obviously, oh, yeah, th that is because I have that. Don't care about those right now. Uh, 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 Tides can be created. Also, I need to do this. Oh, I can actually do the Dutch of Poyama. Poyama. Oh, well, isn't that interesting? Kind of need to do that. Also, don't know why. Why is this in uh, cursive and this isn't? I don't know, but yeah, this is actually something we need to do as well. Uh, so yeah, 250 should be our next goal. These are all 250, no, that's actually 500. Uh, that's Estonia, we can do just Livonia, but Estonia seems... If I do Estonia, wouldn't I get a claim on this? Is that how it works? That is interesting. Hmm. That is interesting. Uh, not gonna think about that right now. Uh, don't care about that. Yeah, we can't do much right now about anything really. So, should I go on a little bit more of a hunt for land? As I said before, the goal is to take the coastal provinces. Doesn't mean that I can't do other stuff. Doesn't mean I can't do other stuff, like Novogorod. Okay, you have a lot of allies, though. Okay, I don't really fancy that. Uh, like the Galleons, you also have some allies. Onega. Probably not that big. No, you are not that powerful. We also have Tartu. Which is sort of most of the part of the Novgorod, by the way. You have okay-ish amount of troops. I mean, we could go for you. Uh, taking, like, this piece of land wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. But, but no, I, I sort of want to save up a little bit of money at this point. As well as, you know, having access to the keep so that we can keep developing our lands. Because development. Development is important, and it feels as if we need to do a whole lot of it to get where I want to. 
Uh, more culture. I would like for you to do the last one down here. And after that, everything here is indeed Swedish. Also, who's this and why are you fighting? All the war for the High Shift and the Gallians. That you are leading and for some reason failing. How are you doing that exactly? <laughs> you actually have... No, that's Erland. Okay, fine. How are you failing that? Where are your troops? Like, where are you? Why aren't you taking this back? That's very strange. Oh well, never mind. So yeah, now this is absolutely Norway again, I can sort of say. But yeah, that, 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 that thing, Estonia. If I create the Duchy of Estonia, or was it Duchy? It was Duchy, right? Uh, 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 the Kingdom of Estonia. Do I get... Of course it's not fade. This way, will I get claims on this like per automatic? Ooh, what happened here? Castile, what the hell happened here? What the hell happened here? <laughs> okay, well, that's interesting. Who inherited that, or rather, lost the inheritance of that? Okay. Well, that's stupid. Okay, so, if we want to go to the uh, Spanish Riviera, it's kind of close now. Kind of close, but probably not as uh, warm as you would like it. This game is sometimes, man. So who are you in war with now? You are at, you're at war, you're gonna lose? Or at least that's what it says. Yeah, you're in worse down here now. And yeah, you are weak, but I can't I don't really have interesting things. Where's that by the way? That's down there. Don't really care about that. Yeah, I don't really have claims anymore. I would like it if you can get some stuff done. You have four months left for that, and then we're gonna do something up here because I can probably get that. What if we actually go for this one that they just recently took over? That wouldn't be a bad idea, I think. But I'm extremely interested in why you're failing this war so badly. How... Where are you? Are you just, you're only in this one war. I don't get this. I don't get what you're doing. Really. Hmm. You're also in a war. Of course you're, Vispi. All, all the time, Vispi. You're down here now. Yeah, because you have this. I mean... Vispi is something that I... I would like to handle, somehow. I don't know what I can do, because they are a republic. How can I revoke them being a republic? Okay, so who's this then? You are of... House Leon on Sicta, that's an interesting one. Uh, so where are... Who are you exactly? Well, Peasant Revolts, not a problem. And don't rally the troops right now, although it seems... Okay, yes, we can raise our troops here. So we have a little bit of a Peasant Rabble coming in. Let's go and handle that swiftly, etc, etc, etc. Should not be a problem. They are moving out to sea, which means that uh, they are not going to be able to join. And if they do, they're going to be weak. So you can come. Oh, Vincent was injured. There we go. 38% on that. Let's just uh, go down and uh, smash them to bits. And that's that. And obviously, I would like some more dread. Okay, he has indeed definitely enough material to make the case that you a rifle of the Earldom of Oso. See it done, beautiful. Go and do some more. <laughs> uh, make a claim on this thing. Uh, where was the... it be there. So yeah, let's finish this war off. You are done. You are being put in jail. You are being executed, I believe. He's a criminal. Is good by me. Get me that lovely, lovely dread up to 88. 
spend my troops and we're fine. We are running a bit of a deficit if we are... Uh, uh, if, if we raise our troops still. So that's a little bit of a shame, but uh, it shouldn't matter that much. What should I keep doing? I have bowmen, I have light footmen, armored footmen, and mangonels. I probably see myself going for a few more bowmen. To be honest. But a few basic light footmen. I mean, if you look at the levies, they are 10 10. Basic light footmen, sheep, 16 18. Just, you know, they're just better. Let's actually get that up to. Get two extra of those. Yes. I like that. That's a nice little increase. Okay, so if I oh, there's a new new one here. <laughs> there's a new guy. And you also don't have that much money. I have claims on this now. I'll hold off a little bit, just a little bit. And by the way, how long would that take? Just a little over a year. So that's beautiful. You know, or at least the attempt of it. <laughs> And Lapland is, um, if not crumbling, then at least uh, vulnerable right now. Very, very vulnerable. I would not mind starting to have a piece of that cake. Sadly, sadly, they turned Catholic, so that's a problem for me. And perfect, he is swayed. Let's uh, try that again. Uh, yeah, I need to figure out a way to get my son to be the heir. He is in rank 2, which in a way is rather impressive, to be honest. I mean, one thing that I could go for, I guess... I mean, who are the other candidates? I mean, we have a lot of people, that, you know, like nephews, etc, etc, that can absolutely step up if I... You know, were to kill my brother, or you know, disinherit my brother, he wouldn't like it. It would cost me renown, which isn't good. And we're, ooh, we're all apps. We're also up to a thousand pretty damn soon, like within a month. Let's uh, trudge on. Hopefully, I'm okay for now. I'm actually not that healthy anymore, which is a bit of a shame. There are a few things I can do about that, isn't there? Uh, go on a pilgrimage. I haven't done that in, like, forever. Let's do it. Uh, prepare for a journey. There we go. So, sighted Jerusalem. We're gonna cost a lot of money. And that's an annoyance. It's gonna cost a lot of money all the time. Uh, very long. Very long. But Vaticano. <laughs> okay. Uh... I didn't think there was gonna... yeah. Uh, there's a lot of them and... Uh, I've changed my mind. This is not the right time. I just need the money. <laughs> I don't wanna go in a deficit that's just unnecessary. So let's hold off a little bit on that, but uh, we should be able to do a uh, feast. But that's also money. That's also money. I do have, have a physician, right? Yeah, thank you. Uh, okay, so we can't really do much about that at this point, and I don't want to spend money on dice right now, so let's, uh, let's uh, again, save up a little bit of money here. But yeah, I'm, do I'm doing okay, you know, so far, for now. I'm doing fine. I have a nice, uh, nice army, but I would like someone to be my ally as well. Okay. You actually want my attention at a feast. Absolutely. Let's do that. Yeah, we have a little feast starting off. And I have a, another perk here. So, where do I want to go? I mean, I could go gallant. Uh, reduce the risk of commanding. Or reduces the risk of commanding. Yeah, sure. Uh, we can go for this one. This one is good. And I'm starting to get a few knights in. So not a bad thing. Could go courtship, just to see if I can actually get my wife going. But uh, I have a son for now, so <laughs> we're doing fine right now. But I would like for control, etc. 
Also dread to gain etc. Siege, siege progress, I guess. Revolts. Do I just go here immediately? I think I do. So, screen uh, screens for my Spearman and Archer. And aren't, uh, aren't they the ones that I have? Aren't they heavy infantry? Yes, they are indeed heavy infantry. So that's actually useful. Organized march, and then we are going to go into... Uh, siege weapon effectiveness, which is also very good. So let's uh, let's go for that. Yeah, I have one son. Uh, we could all tell uh, Count Beatrice had too much to drink, even though his sister is showing us how sober he was. Still, rising from the sea proved too much for him, and now I'm covered in stinking vomit. Oh, you fool! Uh, you gain higher standards of courtesy, you ought to be ashamed for yourself. That gives me extra prestige, I will spend... No, he will spend that. Or, I can gain stress because I'm diligent and spend prestige, and he can like me. I don't care about you. Well, this is spouse of the, uh, <laughs> of the woman who are we, we are at a feast of, but... Uh, yeah, I don't really care about him. As, as such. Okay, the feast is winding down and I found a deep conversation with my ignorant <laughs> my ignorant acquaintances. Yeah, he just puked on me. Why am I even talking to him? He inquires about my opinion of the blessing of marriage. I said he's deeply interested in himself. It does indeed fascinate me. Do I want to be friends with you? I really don't think that I do, but you are also... Well, you're quite kind of low on the old prowess. I am... Not that much better, but I am better. Uh, I don't really see myself being a friend with you. You're a Subinesco as well, so no, we're gonna move. I don't see why we would be rivals, but because you're just the husband of someone. <laughs> so I, I, I don't know why that's a thing. But yeah. Okay, what a feast. I remember this, the days I spent at Countess Liko's house for a long time to come. Nice. Minus stress. He likes me a little bit more. Good job all around. Uh, you are very weak. You do have an alliance with Scotland, who is uh, not nothing, but also not that that good. What's going on here now? Republic of Visby. So what's happening here? By the way, uh, that is a war of tyranny. Which you are going to lose quite easily. Everybody did a fe another feast in Ulu. Sure, we can go on more feasts. Yep. Hey, it's Vincent, the guy who was injured. Okay, I am okay with that as well. So that's up here. That's where I am right now. So now it's uh, me and him. As one plate of food is replaced by the next, by the vessel. Count Vincent goes on and on about the business of marriage. Everyone is really hell bent on the whole marriage thing. And that was how we salvaged that mess. Are you sure I'm not boring you, my lord? No, please do go on. A ten year interesting conversation. Yes. Or do I want to be friends with him? Uh, didn't he have a faction against me, by the way? Uh. Doesn't... yeah, here we go. Not you. No, nope, apparently not anymore. Uh, I would like the diplomacy learning, I think. I would like the diplomacy learning. Go on, talk about that a little bit more. Why don't you? Okay, more stuff is happening. And what kind of meat is this, Richie Flavor? Ooh, delightful. Life reaffirmed. Medium moves, there we go. That is what I wanted. Now we actually have a good health. Uh, so, that is for, what, five years? Well, okay, fine. It's not super great, but it's also not that bad. You're, however, a known murderer. Farewell, my vessel. Ooh, eager reveler. Well, isn't that interesting? Is it, is it because I've been f partying so much? <laughs> Has this happened the intoxicating life of carousing and debauchery and is hungry for more? Sure. Okay. Well, isn't that interesting? Good reveler. Just the, the one star, but fine. Cool. So that means that I... What was that? Uh, diplomacy and intrigue. Intrigue? Nice. I'm actually... Actually at 12. Isn't that beautiful? Okay, challenge. I'm sparring. 
with one of my soldiers sweat beading on my forehead when I experienced the uncanny sensation of being watched. Looking over my shoulder, I spot my knight Simon, who waves at me. I walk over to greet him. We talk about our weapon practice for a while, trading tricks and advice. Just some about leave for another round. Simon's face light up and he suggests we practice together. Challenge accepted. So he apparently is a little bit better than me. Yes, he is indeed. Uh, I can either ga gain the martial, 100 martial uh, lifestyle experience and practice his duel, which is just one or 50 extra. Working in a bunch of stress, so obviously we're going to do that. And I think that, uh, ooh, uh, the sound of hammer clashing against mace echoes between the corridor walls. All eyes are on us. Everyone wants to see their king fighting this knight. The crowd applause is a lunge, and their admiration makes me bold. Instead of pulling back, I attempt a new technique I've been practicing. The movements flow through me and into my hammer as if I, as if we were one. Simon is defenseless before me. Ta-da! Uh, if I do this, the fight ends, you gain the prestige, I already have the martial experience, or I'll show him not to challenge me again, I can get some dread and he gets wounded and loses the pain and said, no, 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 this was a fair fight, nothing to worry about here. And, oh, okay, <laughs> and it's already, Simon, the one we just fought, by god this party is boring, we just had a, we were, we we're at a party, and uh, what happened first? Did the fight happen first or did the party happen first? I don't know. Uh, Sam has got to be the worst host in the world I've ever seen. <laughs> Is that what we beat him? Maybe I should have uh, wounded him for being such a bad host. How can mortal man be expected to endure this snoring celebration of mediocrity? May I cast about a room looking for a diversion? And a diversion. Seagird gives me a friendly wave from a nearby balcony. In the corner, Beta stares daggers at me. I got to do something to stop this evening dragon. Okay, perhaps I could uh, get to know Sigurd better. So are you, you are the... Uh, are you, you are... Where are you? Ekatorp, yeah, you're just a little mayor somewhere. Or Beatrice. Don't ever really think about you. Ooh, not that good. Who are okay, an injured of boredom. Uh, guess makes diplomacy, but some stress from being an eager reveler. Or quietly slink away. I mean... Five years of uh, five years of extra diplomacy. That's not bad. I mean, I'm unstressed right now. Uh, I don't really care about you either. Let's go for the bit of stress, which is fine right now. Oh, there's a lot of stuff happening right now. Besides the things that I absolutely want to do. Okay, so some Lithuania villas, populous. Okay, more stuff. So how are you doing, by the way? Two months left, and I am probably gonna go for that, like, immediately. Uh, by the way, where is the... In the high, I have a... Where is this one? Can I not uh, move to rally points? Hey, no, 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 no. I want to see where it is. Where is it? Why can't I see my rally points better? Uh, that's down there. Then I have the blue one over here. Red, green, blue, yellow. Wait, what? Red, the green, the yellow, the blue. Where's the orange one? That's the one I'm missing. So I have the purple there. Where is the Reval? Oh, I have one over here. Do I need that one? No, I don't. Uh, this one, we can move way up here. There we go. That's what I want. Uh, are you full? Yeah, you're all full. We still have levies left to get back, but that's fine. Uh... You were... You, oh, three days left. There we go. Yes, you did. County of Kitka. Yeah, that does it. Sit up. Thank you. Beautiful. And you can be back on religious relations, because we are going to attack... Mm, Lapland, I believe. Oh, that's annoying, though. Oh, sh You bastard. That's gonna be an issue, I think. Sure, it's counted as inferior, but only 
Who do I... Who can I even invite into that war? I can't invite you because... Of, and I have a truce with you, so... Don't really have a choice here. Uh, do we have anyone that I can... Uh, be friends with? Now, obviously, you probably don't want to be friends with me at all. So th th that's not going to be a choice. Uh... Ruthenia seems like a problematic person to be in a uh, in a alliance with. Doesn't this usually tell me? Oh, more, more, more gold. Thank you. Always, always get the gold if you can. Have you gotten money? Yeah, fine. That, that's that's okay with me. Uh, doesn't say anything about anyone. Wanting to be allies. What about Denmark, by the way? You sort of like me. Apparently we cannot do anything with that. I think it's time that we look for uh, a betrothed here. So, let's uh, check for alliances. And let's uh, start off with North Germanic. So, what can we get here? We can get with... Jämtaland don't really... I want to go a little bit bigger than that. And so Norwegian... Oh, here we go. Potential alliance with Denmark. So what do you... What do you look like? You are the daughter of King Mads. Yes. I wouldn't mind being allies with Denmark right now because we're not gonna start wars with Denmark anytime soon. They are related, but at this point in time, it must be very, very off, so that Im inbred risk cannot be uh, problematic. So, the chance of children is medium. And for some reason, you don't have any troops right now. Why do you not have any troops? Okay, fine, they don't have troops, you know, right now. What wars are you in? Bohemian? You're defending against uh, Bohemia. Or what exactly? Down here. Oh, you're you're not the uh, you're not the target there. That's fine then. Uh, you are defending in this war. That is also not you, because you're just helping Poland out. You know what? We're gonna do that. We're gonna be friends with uh, we're gonna be friends with Denmark. Uh, arrange. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, not not you. Come on, my son. Arrange a marriage. Not like that. Start with this. Uh, go down to Denmark. I mean, you're not uh, super exciting, but I, ask, I mean, you're 10 years old, you're not that bad. You're not that bad. Let's go for this. Uh, so, yep. Yeah, equal levels, so a bunch of prestige. Good. Send that. That would be nice. Ooh. Consider your plan or decide to grant your request. Thank you for that money. So, with the money, we are saving up for the Kingdom of Estonia. Beautiful. We have that alliance. Good job. Uh, can I... I don't have anyone that I can marry off at this point, which is a problem. Can I try to... Seduce you a little bit. 5%. Hmm. Not that good. <laughs> I can't really do much else with you. Man, it's a little bit tricky to play as a homosexual ruler. <laughs> okay, VSP. It's time for VSP to host me. Or rather have me at their place. Okay, that is uh, a okay. So... You're losing those numbers. Uh Right? Nothing like a... F There's nothing like a feast. Ah, it reminds us all of what, a good, of what is good in life, and the company is not too bad either. At least those seated close to me seem to think so. You are something special, Halston. Grand Mayor Seeger tells me. Count Lovelin can nod. Another has an agreement. Aww. Yep. Because I am an eagle reveler, they like me. I Maybe I should... Chill out a little bit with the partying. <laughs> uh, we'll see. So
So, Denmark, I would like for you to help me out a little bit, but you need to be rid of your wars first. Okay, so we have Dilemma, the Fisus is wandering down there from a safety deep conversation with my uns unsubtle vassal Count Ragnar. He sort of likes me. He wants my opinion on the blessing of marriage. Again with the marriages, man, can you just... Do people know that I'm homosexual, by the way? <laughs> is this this way people talk about the marriage thing? Uh, him, I can see myself becoming a friend with. That's fine. M move that a little bit closer. That's nice. Yeah, Denmark. Please finish your wars, because I would like for you to join in my wars. Okay, I lose more stress. Uh, he gains some happiness for me, so to speak, so that's nice. Now what else can I do? Yes, I maybe I should do that. Yes, Strickland-Landia. Let's uh, do a little bit of county control here. Uh, that is up, up here. So let's do that. It very much feels as if I should be fighting a few wars at this point, though. Uh, ooh, here we go. He now likes me. Beautiful. So, uh, we don't have to do that anymore. Let's go over to vassals. I think I have other vassals. At least one that doesn't like me, right? They all sort of like me. I mean, I have a few smaller ones, but I don't really care about those. Uh, yes. That is up there. We don't need to do that right now. There's a lot of vassals who don't really feel that I am the rightful leash, but we're gonna fix that. We are going to fix that. Yeah, we're... We're okay here, I think. We're fine. We're gonna have to do something about the secession, but we're fine for now. So, uh, yes, Kingdom of uh, uh, Estonia. Kingdom of Estonia. So not actually only two duchies. Uh... This one is actually four duchies, but uh, this one feels uh, more interesting. So let's uh, create the title of Estonia. There we go. And I can be the owner of that. Now, question is... Question is... Yeah. That is sort of uh, what I had in mind. There we go. I can actually do that now. Perfect. That is what I wanted. Uh, so you are... you have an alliance with Scotland. Yes, we know that. You are extremely vulnerable. So we're gonna finish... we're gonna finish this uh, episode off with the declaration of war against Norway and uh, taking... Uh, the taking of this here little area. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. So it's gonna cost us 180 prestige, so that's beautiful. Start it off get our allies. I can call... Ooh, I can call a bunch of people. Wow, okay. I have a lot of house members, apparently. Uh, you can come if you want to. Yeah, we're gonna spend a bit, a bit of prestige on this. So who are you? Of Wessex? You have a lot of troops. Do I need to do this, by the way? Maybe I shouldn't have even have called the Denmark in. You are fighting a war, but you, you have a lot of troops. I can get you. But you seem mad at something. You're an adulterer and a drunkard. That's beautiful. I don't really want you. I uh, can't come, can't do you. For some reason. Uh, yeah, exactly, because they're, that's their allegiance. I don't think that I need more, to be honest. Uh, let's raise our army up here. Go. She joins in. Um, yeah, he joins in as well. So if you look at this war right now, 10,000 versus 388. Obviously, that is not gonna, you know, remain that way. That 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 is that much is true, but it is uh, right now. Okay, they lost the lackluster administration. Beautiful, perfect. Okay, so yeah, they joined the wars, but I, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna count on them. By the way, uh, you come from like all the way over here. Ooh, I'm actually, well, that's interesting. Stay killing. Hey, isn't that nice? Spreading out a little bit. Uh, you are a hostile army. That is fine. Split you off. Uh, who do I have? Twenty-one. 
that is the keep or castle indeed but yeah this is uh going to continue in the beginning of the next episode i believe so for now oh you uh got an army up there but that's fine so who's, who are you early oh twist of fate hey prince here has been murdered okay someone didn't want my oh i <laughs> almost didn't lose any stress at all about that i don't know where that is Okay, so my alliance with him, obviously. So, oh, what what did that do for? What did that do for everything here? By the way, looks kind of okay. I think doesn't look too bad. <laughs> I don't know exactly if anything happened there. But okay, so for now, my son is indeed the player heir. So, you know, I am going to be. Uh, what, what, what is this a ooh a title loss and secession ooh not part of dynasty that's weird who, who who the hell are you you're my nephew uh murder not that good you don't have an heir why don't you have an heir and who are you why the Hey, hey, why are you here? Will you die will play as him? Yeah, I want that. It's not your... Yes, he, yeah, yes, he is. There we go. Okay, so it wasn't him. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> uh, that, that, that looks a little bit better, but still. Still, though, so you are... Who are you? You are my nephew. Yeah, I have a bunch of nephews and wow I'm losing money oh my troops are really really expensive <laughs> that, 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 that doesn't work uh, you, you get away and let's actually split this off in two as well uh, you can go up here oh that hurt that hurt a lot I'm trying to finish this episode by the way I am I, I'm I truly am don't worry uh, still can't disband you. Let's move you slightly. There we go. Disband that. And as soon as you get over that, means that we're going to have slightly fewer troops, which is good then that I have allies that can help me out. Deserters. Again with Simon. I'm leading a patrol when uh, we spot a group of figures emerging from the darkness of night. Hooded cloaks, obscure faces, but by once on gaining gate, I recognize Simon my knight. My lord, whispers one of my men, they're deserting. What should we do? Apprend them immediately. Absolutely. Uh, so you can be disbanded. And uh, we're at a surplus again. Well... The deserters. After a short scuffle, the deserting soldiers are apprehended. Every soldier present, both loyal and not, know that punishment for this kind of betrayal can be harsh. There is thick with anticipation and fear. My lord, Simon meets my gaze with tired eyes. We're only children, we just want to go home. So yeah, I can get the dread and overworked soldiers, not that good. And I can get an 80% chance of a martial lifestyle from scrubbing the latrines. And either that or let me tell you a story about discipline and honor. Ooh. Promise a challenge. Do that. I want to see what happens. The whole situation could have turned out better. I, th I thought a rousing speech would inspire the deserted soldier to make them work all the harder to prove themselves worthy of the mercy shown to them. However, even if they did return to ranks, the fire had gone from their eyes. The soldiers that were on patrol with me, on the other hand, seemed to soak up the speech like spiced wines. Well, I didn't get the uh, martial perk, sad, but movement speed extra. Okay, fine. I'm gonna leave this up now. This is the point where we leave the episode off. The question is, do I have any allies coming in? <laughs> don't know where my allies are. You were actually... Denmark is down here. Where is Wessex? You are in two wars. Yeah, you are probably like down... Yeah, you're down here. Okay, fine. We'll see how well we can do on our own. These are not necessarily going for us, not at this point, but uh, they might eventually do it. 
So we'll see. I mean, worst, worst come to worst, we will have to just fire up the army. That is uh, absolutely true. They're actually... <laughs> They have their little army over here, that's a bit annoying, but okay. I'm gonna focus on taking this down. That's the world goal, so focus on that, and then, then we'll see. So yeah, we did uh, at least finish this war off, so that's good, but not much else. Well, of course, yeah. We soon have the keep, I like seeing that. It means that we can just uh, keep growing our main domain, which is a very good thing. Also, shouldn't we have... Enough renown for this? Why haven't the... Has the game told me about that? No, it hasn't. You know what? We're gonna leave that off. I'm gonna start that next... Uh, <laughs> next episode. Because I know that there is some stuff in there that I want. So, more wars, more upgrades, etc. etc. Coming in the following episode. For now though, this has been Ghostsmith Gaming with me, Christopher. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.